Welcome back to Tuscany. I'm Danilo Romolini and today we are in Arezzo. This is Piazza Grande. In this place, the movie La Vita è Bella, Life is Beautiful, from Roberto Benigni was filmed. The property we're going to view today has an incredible view over Arezzo, but at the same time it's 10 minutes of drive away from the city center. Come with me. Here we are by the entrance gate of the villa. It is original and it dates back to the 1700s. Right behind me you see this typical Tuscan cypress trees gateway. Let's go and have a look at the villa. And this is the villa. But let's first start talking about this incredible location. In fact, we are on top of the hill, right in front of Arezzo. So you can get to the city center in about five minutes drive. Since Arezzo is in a very central position in Italy, it is easy to get to all the bigger cities like Florence, for example, where you can get a train and arrive there in about 20, 30 minutes of travel. Also, Rome is really close. In an hour and 15 minutes, you can get there and even Siena is 30 minutes away of car. The property is composed externally of about 2.5 hectares of land with olive grove and orchard. Also, around and in front of the villa we find this beautiful Italian garden. In terms of buildings, we find the main villa, which is 930 square meters, and a private chapel. Let's now have a look at this terraced private garden. What's great about this garden is that it's right in front of the kitchen, so there is direct access, and in summer you can have al fresco lunch or dinner enjoying this beautiful view of Arezzo. Also, we find this outdoor living area where you can sit and enjoy the rest of the garden with the fountain and these beautiful original statues. Just beside the villa, we find this really pretty private chapel. It was built just after the villa at the beginning of the 1700s. Let's go and have a look inside. Soon as you walk in, you notice the original terracotta floors, this stunning altar and the vaulted ceilings. Let's now have a look at the main villa. It is 930 square meters with nine bedrooms and nine bathrooms. Let's go inside. As soon as you walk in, you find yourself in this huge and beautiful entrance hall. This room connects all the other rooms on this floor. From here, we get on my right to the living room. Look at this living room. It has so many interesting details, like this terracotta red, typical Tuscan floor with travertino marble inserts. An interesting aspect of this living area is that it's divided in two parts. This part with the pool table, where you can have fun with your friends and family, and the actual living room with this sitting area where you can enjoy your fireplace made out of marble and these beautiful arched ceilings. From the living area, we pass through the entrance hall and we get on the other side. 
where we find a studio, and over here we access to this smaller second living room that could be considered either a TV room or a tea room that connects to the dining area. And here we are in the dining room. It is full of light and thanks to the mirrors it looks even bigger. Another great feature is that it has direct access to the garden that we saw before. And on this side we get to the kitchen. From the dining room we get to this area with a bathroom and the kitchen. And here is the kitchen. It has its own fireplace, professional cooker, vaulted ceilings and direct access to the external area. From here we can also get to the underground wine cellar. Let's go and have a look. This is the wine cellar. Here you can keep your precious wine and olive oil. The owners produce their own oil and this is the label of their bottle. We're back in the main hall. From here we also get through these stairs to the upper floors. We're now on the first floor of the villa. Here there are six bedrooms, three of which have ensuite bathrooms and there are other two independent bathrooms. Here we find the access to the third floor where we find an extra apartment with its independent access and over here two bedrooms. Let's go and have a look at this hall. Look at this hall. It has wooden parquet floors and coffered ceilings. From here we access to two bedrooms with ensuite bathrooms over there and here there is another bedroom. We find a wardrobe and here we access to the bedroom. It has as well the coffered ceilings and the oak parquet floors. We're now on the last and top floor of the villa. Here you find this apartment with independent access that has been fully restored. On this side we pass to all the living areas. We're now on the living room of the last floor. This was originally a kitchen, in fact you can notice the fireplace and the original wooden beams that have been painted and modernized. From here we access also to the dining area. This is the dining area which is directly connected to the kitchen. We're now on the tower of the house. In Italian we call this Altana. This is a bedroom that has this incredible feature of having this amazing view. You can even see the Duomo of Arezzo. Arezzo is the birthplace of Giorgio Vasari and Francesco Petrarca. But today I want to leave you with a quote from Giosuè Carducci. Basterebbe Arezzo per la gloria d'Italia, meaning that Arezzo would be enough for the glory of Italy. I hope you enjoyed this property. See you next time.